Oh, that's cool. Yeah, okay. All right, so we have the camera now. Yeah. Here we go. Attention. Chokunne. Hapki. All right, so we'll just do our basic movement. This is it, like I said, that third lesson. So from here, one. Back. Two. Three. Four. Now I'm moving forward. That's what happened on one line. Oh, it's down in one line. Yeah, that's it. So it's going to cross that way. No, sorry, that way. Cross. Yeah, that's it. We're on one. Here we go. Moving forward. Double palm strike with the key up. Like that, okay, ready? Hana! Hey! Hey! Do! Hey! Set! Just do two. Ne! Da! Set! Ya! Set! Is that working? It is! Here we go! Thought I had enough room now. Come on! Okay, stay in that Come on, we stay where you are. Finish where you are. Shumbi, ready position. So I'm getting a little bit more traditional now. A little more traditional. A little upper block moving back with the hand up. This time we do a combination. So in practicality wise, someone goes to hit you, you block and then strike back. So that's called combination. Now I'll get you to do that in your own time, okay? When I demonstrate, I'll demonstrate first. So moving back, block, palm. Moving back, block, palm. In your own time, go. Block and then do a palm. Just do one step and then palm. One step and palm. That's right, so you're blocking and palm. So this is what we call combinations. Now you've done your basic singular techniques, we move on to combinations, all right? Those who are watching at home, you just got enough room in it. I thought this was full, this camera. Oh, there's so much pickleball on there and stuff. There you go, it's working. Okay, all right, right now, come on, and then stop. Chumbi, right back stance, right back stance, right foot back, sorry, right foot back stance. Now moving forward, We'll do another combination. All right from here, we're gonna do a double knife hand strike. Okay, for the old karate chop they call it. So I'll demonstrate first. So demonstration means you just watch. Hey! Hey! Okay? Ready? My numbers. Hey! Hey! Do! Hey! Say! Hey! Hey! Just getting used to double movements now you've worked singular in the other lesson before. Now moving back, we're going to do down block. I'll demonstrate. Down block to the 45 angle. Palm strike. Now bring the other hand back to the, to the head. Down block. Palm strike. Now, you see that what I'm doing, I'm stepping at the 45 angle. So I'm off the line. It might be an upper, upper set punch or it could be my hitting it from there. I'm then transferring, I'm still pushing that arm out, transferring to here, hitting with the palm, but see I bring the other hand back to here, in case I need it again. All right, so again, in your own time, take your own time when you're first learning something, rather if I call numbers, someone gets a bit muddled up or something, I'd rather take your own time, and that's called, in Korean, that's called in your own time, sizja. Okay, so just there, bang, palm, there, palm, go, or sizja in Korean. In your own time. So in, in reality, what's happening is I'm doing this and then palming. That's right. So you're getting out of the way of the block and then palm strike. Correct. This for this part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boom. That's right. Boom. Palm. Good. Palm. That's right. Keep back, keep stepping back, good job. Keep stepping back, hit each foot, and then that's right. Then, then step back the other foot, and do the same this way. So you understand what I'm doing. I'm trying to hit lock, then palm, that's right. Oh, yeah. There you go, lock, palm. That's right, just get used to coordinating two moves at once. That's quite straightforward once you understand the practicality of it. Good. Then the other foot moves back, hit, then the other foot moves back, hit, the other foot moves back, hit. That's right. Lock and strike back. That's right. So lean, now learn to lean. Learn to lean and move out of the way. And step. Also, this is a good position I can run. I can block. I might not need the palm strike. I might not even need it. So why go back in? I can run from there. He comes back at me, then I have to do it. 
and then they run into it. You understand? So I've got it there ready. So for example, I'll show you the example. You understand that why and how this stuff works. <laughs> okay, so do a right just at the moment. Do this hand underneath. You're trying to get in here, okay? I block and move. Now, if I need to, I strike, bring this hand back, and I strike again if I need to. Or, I can just block and run, now come back at me, and then kick, boom, from there, as they're coming back at me, if I can't run fast enough to get away. Because I don't want them catching up to me, and then putting me in a worse position. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And when they grab me, that's why the block needs to be hard. So I'm gonna, yeah, so you hit me with that arm, I hit, in here, I really get your way. If I need a hit, if I'm in a position to hit, if I deem it to be a man against a girl, yes, you should hit. Half. Then run. If it's a man against a man, you know, I, I I can just block. I can block. If it's no weapon involved, but if it's a knife involved, I hit you pretty hard. Or a gun or something, you know what I mean? And knock it out here. So I can block and run, but if it's a girl, you, you, you might you, hit noses and throats as hard as you can. Because the, the problem is, if you've got high heels on or something not as fast as them, then they can, I could run, I could do that, right? And I could have had a shot at you to go back, but if I don't, and you chase me, you could get me in a worse position, like bear hug me, come and bear hug me. You get me in a worse position, like a bear hug, you know what I mean? And then, I'm, then I have to do this one, which is a lot harder than having to do the initial strike. So bam, now bam, that's a technique for it, but I don't want to have to get you into that. If you have an opportunity to hit them in the nose or throat before you go. Does that make sense? Right, great. So it's, again, it depends on the level of the intent and the viciousness. Look, you're 13? Right, so any man, anyone from a boy, from probably older than 11, 12, that's bigger than, as big as you're bigger, and they grab you and attack you, you, you better fight your kids. If a nine year old comes up and. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You win me. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I doubt that'll happen, but you know, <laughs> some crazy people in the world. All right, so, and some of them have bad parents. <laughs> parents should do a parenting course. All right? This could be called Bright Side. Bright Side's really good on, on, on bad luck. I'm a big Bright Side this course, so check that out. That's a really good course. It brings you things about you know, habits and, you know, you know, different things and why it doesn't help you along on YouTube. YouTube's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So, all right. And here's the man to see about phones, everybody. What's the website again? Superstar Broadway. Superstar Broadway Facebook page, right? Facebook page. Superstar Broadway in Los Angeles. Yep. And if you're all around America, and if you want an unlocked phone, see see this man. He makes you have as well. You can send post to one. Quicker than Amazon would. <laughs> and cheaper, right? No show, sure. right? 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 <laughs> Okay, so there's your, there's some basic movement for the blocks, okay? Now let's have a little workout on the bags, okay? I'll do, I'm gonna do a little circuit, all right? So you're gonna hit the bag, I'm gonna do some blocking with you on the pads. You're gonna run, and for a bit of fitness practice, a bit of training, you're gonna do five push-ups, five sit-ups. All right? All right, here we go, just whatever you can manage, that's okay. So a bit of fitness training as well. Um, so there's a point to be fit to be able to run away. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna get front kick, front kick. All right, front kick, front kick. Uh, yeah, block, block, run, and a few push ups and sit ups. Whatever you can manage, really. Bend the knee and kick out, okay? Good girl. Block, block. I haven't got another minute, so I'll just do this one at the moment. Block, block, that's it. It's nice and easy, just get the abs going, get the bend, bend down. That's good. There you go. We got problems too from the feet and the knees, so that doesn't have problems. I'll push up. I'll just even that. Let's have a full sit up, just a half or whatever. One, two. So you got it. This is where you got to use to be hit with pads, not by somebody else. <laughs> Initially, you got to get used to it. All right. So there is that working. How's this? That's my new phone. That's pretty good. All right. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. When you when you're being called, boom. Hands up. That's it. Good. Two, do, actually, do two each leg. Do two each leg, and that way it gives the time for the person who's on the sit-ups, push-ups, come back in. And then block, block, for example. Now, make sure, Christine, make sure it's like that. It's like doing a high-five to somebody without a forearm bone, okay? 
You can take your full head and, and this side of the face. That's right. Very good. Good. Two weeks left. Two weeks left. One, two, good, good. That's it. Your fitness training is in the lesson there. Very good. Still a couple. Yeah, you can't do five. That's fine. We can manage. Those following at home. Don't connect with any partner. Don't ask your husband or wife or whatever boyfriend, girlfriend to come and hit you and try a technique. Always do it under controlled environment. If you can't come to my school in Venice and I'm set up also down in um, Seal Beach and Newport Beach and Orange County are all the future. If you can't do that, then go to your local club. That's it. It's not so much the style, it's the instructor that's important. Having said that, you should do a style that encompasses everything, which is like Hapido. That's why I win more championships in self-defense, because it has it everything, has a variation of everything. Every grab and hold, against weapons, with weapons, everything. Ground defense system, weapon defense. All right, let's go. <laughs> Normally I put some music on, but then they bring it. <laughs> so here we go. We'll get music next time. Well, I'm going to bring you our music, guys, and, and set it up. That's fine. Mm. All right, so no worries. We'll bring some music in. And if it was me, if I bought the music, there's seven is anyway, so it may not suit you. <laughs> <laughs> I put some old 70s songs on my Facebook page. And I'll do it too. Yeah. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. <laughs> Kung Fu Fighting. There you go. Hey, everybody, it was Kung Fu Fighting. Da -da 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 so I think I better stick to the martial arts, not singing. <laughs> All right. It's like the old joke. Who, who, who uh, sings that? Oh, Carl Douglas. Well, let him. <laughs> let him sing. Now, side kick, guys. Now, I'll teach you a new one. Sliding side kick. Slide up and forth. Okay? Sliding side kick. Let's try that. Not too high. Nice to see level. It's fine. Get in a stance, for example. Right left foot back stance, for example. And step up and pull. And then do two each leg in the stance, step up, and put sliding into it. So make sure you position your stance first, so you're in a balanced stance. That's it, sliding into what we're moving to. Now we'll do the other one. That's it. Okay, Christine, so from here, just stand side on, and just step and pull. Oh. Okay, slide up. Those grip, grippy socks you got on, <laughs> and grip underneath. Make sure that's right, very good. Change. Slide up. Use the heel. Get the heel in. Get the heel in. That's perfect. Good. I even have a character called Kung Fu Ru. <laughs> I dressed up in a kangaroo suit and but that, we did it, but the problem is I did it, but the um, the face wasn't very smiley, so I've now got a new face, smiley face to put on it. <laughs> Don't want to scare the kids or anything. Because they're not used to kangaroos in America. There you go. Good. Oh, there's a good movie called Kangaroo Jack, actually. You guys enjoy that. Look at that one. Kangaroo Jack. Good movie. Okay, we can slide, sliding, sliding. Now sit down side, slide. That's it. And of course, everyone must watch the Karate Kid series from the 80s with Ralph Macchio and then Cobra Kai, of course, now. Watch the Karate Kid first, you haven't seen it. All four of them actually. Three, and then he'll be swanked to the fourth. Next Karate Kid. And then watch Jackie Chan's Karate Kid, and uh, it's pretty cool. And, and of course, then after that, you know, Jackie Chan movies generally rush hour series are very funny. And Bruce Lee movies, of course. I just watched Game of Death again the other day on YouTube for free. Enter the Dragon's the only one that um, is you have to pay for, but it's worth it getting it, and you can keep it forever than you want to pay for it. The yeah, others, Crystal Fury, Game of Death, um, Chinese Connection doesn't have a name for Crystal Fury. And uh, Way of the Dragon are all on. I think it's no, maybe Way of the Dragon you have to pay for, but they will go out and check them on YouTube, okay? It's one of Chuck Norris and Way of the Dragon, you can see those there. That's it. Just take your time. Good. Okay, this is the last one, and again. Good. Okay, great. And, and back to original lines. Okay, well I will finish off tonight with some more um, grabs and holds, okay? So from here, from here. Again, as I said, whenever someone comes at you, run if you can. All right. So actually we'll do, um, 
We'll do defense against uh, grab first, okay? Or, or it could be a punch, so maybe come towards my face, the right hand, and I'll block and then move. Now watch these steps, watch how we do this a bit close to the camera. So, so what I'm doing is, watch how I move. So he steps to the right punch, and I move, and I've got him here, and then I can run. And what I'm doing is I'm moving, we'll do it slowly, blocking and striking at the same time, okay? So first of all, we'll practice that in the air, and I'll face this way. So imagine the right punch coming at you, and I'm just doing this, okay? Good. See, block, strike, and move at the same time. This takes a little while to get used to it. So just, if you, been, if you have a problem doing anything once, just do the block first, followed by the foot, then the strike. So let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Block with the left, then step, then strike. But the ultimate goal is just to pull together, but that takes time to coordinate. Okay, let's do it again. Block with the left, step with the right, and then palm strike to the right, okay? Then as you get more experience, then bang, straight in. Good. So you understand what I'm doing? I'm trying to grab you, and blocking and striking the same. Move your feet. So jump, jump to the 45 angle. And also in a better position to run away from there as well. Jump, kick. And then run. Good. That's it. We should do this as a reality TV show. The family that stick together, kick, kick together, stick together. And we can have their journey from white belt to black belt. There you go, a family journey. So satisfying as instructors see someone that's pretty much disempowered at the beginning, not knowing anything, to suddenly become this black belt that's so powerful and so incredible with their moves. It's, and you may never have to use it, but I'd rather have it. It's like doing insurance. <laughs> well, I do. I also run my financial services business and running insurance and mortgages. It's very important to have insurance as well. Okay, from here, boom. Just in case. And in martial arts, you have an expression, better to know and not need than to need and not know, all right? It's like you should better have it and not use it than have it and want it and then need it and you know, then not have it, you know what I mean? So you get your peace of mind. And also as a parent, you're gonna have peace of mind that, you know, the parents are gonna look after itself for the next eight years, nine years, you know what I mean? Without the training. And there's so many other benefits, so many other benefits. It'll help you other sports, it'll help you do better at school, It'll help you concentrate better. It'll help you um, in every aspect.